Hey, it's Clay Trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HTBX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. While this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. This one is pretty tricky, this being the analysis, uh, because there's a whole lot of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you are a day trader and you bought right there and you wanted to sell within three minutes after buying, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. Now, if you care about the big picture of things, then yeah, I get it. The price pulled back quite a bit. But from the big picture, the bulls do still have an opportunity to build a higher base. And when you have higher bases being built over longer periods of time, that's how those long-term uptrends are constructed. So I'm going to be talking about things from a big picture perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess is you just had a different strategy and outlook going into the trade. And to really illustrate this, I want to talk about what really stands out to me as the, the key level of support. And that is this area right here at, uh, what is that, 80, uh, 69 cents. Why is 69 so important? Well, it all circles back to a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken. So let's just first establish the fact that this was a very stubborn area of resistance for a while. Several occasions, price tried to get above it, couldn't quite do it, but fast forwarded to this morning and the price did get above it. So that resistance was broken. And going back to that rule, when levels of resistance are broken, you wanna see them act as support, especially in this case. Why is that, uh, you know, why does that matter? Well, let's just say the price actually goes down there bounces around and then heads back up. In this event, from the big picture perspective, what would you have? Well, you'd sell a set of lows here. Previous set of lows would be down here. You picture each of these as stair steps and hey, the overall stair steps are still going in the upwards direction. And that's what matters from you know a, a longer term uh, you know perspective. Yeah, today the price pulled back. Keyword there being today. That's one day. When you look at multiple days, the price can still uh, you know, build upon this uptrend, but it's got to start stabilizing. And in my mind, that key stabilization point is definitely staying at 69 cents or above. So all in all, pulled back today, bulls still have an opportunity. So let's see if they can build that higher stair step or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.